Hello everybody, John Adolph here and welcome to a HUD home listing at 505 Pratt Street in the city of Fulton. Now this is a real interesting property. Here we have a two-family house and at 505 and a half, yep, a single family house. Here's the problem and I'll show you the property as I'm sharing this with you. City of Fulton has a law that states if a property has been abandoned for more than one year and this qualifies that the zoning has to then kick in and dictate how this property can be used. Unfortunately, it's a single family usage here. What that means is, is that this two family house has to be converted into a one family house. And I'll show you in a second how that can be done. And this little puppy right here has to be either A, torn down, B, just basically uh, utilized as a storage or a garage, which means that you're going to have to disconnect the electrical, the water, and the gas. Huh. Well, okay. The one thought was, can you split this up? Meaning that we just split it right down here and use this as its own separate property and keep it. But you only got about 50 feet here. I don't know how that's going to work, but that was one possibility. All right, so you have two doors here. That was the main entrance at one time, I believe. And I'll show you the reason why in a second. That one would probably have to be buttoned up. And I'll show you in order to be able to have this flow again as a single family Let's head inside. Right, so we head up the to the upstairs apartment. See this wall right here? We're going to be referring to that wall in just a second. That's the wall you're going to open up in order to make it flow because they closed that off originally in order to separate the two units. So you got a pretty nice looking uh, living room. You've got a gas space heater that would have to go. That's this provides the heating for upstairs here. Bedroom, good size. Kitchen. So this would have to be sleeping or living area up here, not, not a kitchen. It'd have to be taken out. All right, got it. All right, let's head downstairs and I'll show you on the other side of what I just tapped down here where you would open that up in the okay other we're coming in through the side door not the front yet and i'll show you that in a second into the kitchen okay you know it's, overall it's not in horrible shape or whatever you know it's just that we've got that problem with the zoning and by the way this zoning doesn't just extend or just does, isn't isolated to fulton you know auburn has the same thing just check you know I'm not sure if Oswego City does or not but you just have to check to make sure all right so here's the living room nice big living room got vinyl uh, windows here's that wall so you would take this door out open up that wall right there and the other door would be your main entrance you could just come right on in here here's your downstairs and then your stairs upstairs would be right on the other side of this what you would do is open that up and there you have it. All right, let's head back to the back house and we'll continue our tour. All right, here we go. So what do we got? We got one hot water heater right here. Second one right here. So you're gonna wanna take one of those out. Furnace four stair, it's older, but if it works, great. Got a washer and dryer hookup with a gas hookup for your dryer down here, a Bilco door going to the outside. All right. Stone uh, foundation that's been parged and looks like it's been uh, dry locked. And you've got two electrical meters and two gas meters again that have to be married into one each. All right, let's take a look at the back okay, place. We're in the back house. And by the way, just show you where we just came from okay all right bathroom needs a little bit of finishing okay so you got a separate water separate gas meter outside i just noticed kitchen needs a, it's got a low ceiling and cabinets are cool looking iconic looking needs a new countertop some Appliances, maybe this one could be used. Paint, new floor covering, trim, 
All new sheetrock in here. Let's get rid of this uh, paneling look. <laughs> and it looks like a larger, older electrical electric uh, baseboard. All right, uh, ceilings are about I don't know six ten something like that. Not too bad. By this red tape is just saying that there's a trip hazard. Watch out. Then you got a loft. I don't know if you call it a loft, but one bedroom up here. It's a pretty good size. More could be done with this room. It could rock. All right, that's about it. We'll conclude it. So a HUD starting this off at 44,000. It's gone down in price to 38,720. Just look at the property description. You'll see if there's been any price change since uh, the shooting of this video. Taxes are $4,100. I pretty much spelled out and showed you what needs to be done. It's going to be up to you. Investigate this a little bit further, see if it can be split. It seems like it's right on the line of being practical. I don't know. And otherwise, if not, then what do you use this back house for? Big, huge playhouse for the kids? Give me a call, 315-695-6434. It's got parking, that's cool. Real estate's awesome. You guys have a great day.